Hello, good morning. Welcome to Nehemiah number 10. Uh, we see that the, uh, uh, um, the covenant um, is sealed between God's people and God again. The people themselves, they go ahead and write up a covenant that they're going to go start following God. Um, you, we look through here, number 10, we see that Nehemite the governor is there with all the city officials and, and uh, governmental officials and, and the Levites, the Levites brethren, the leaders of the people are there. Uh, then verse 28, it says, Now the rest of the people, the priests, the Levites, the gatekeepers, the singers, the Nethanim, uh, Nethanim are the uh, temple slaves. And all those who had separated themselves from the people of the lands to the law of God. And, and you know, that would that right there would, would uh, consider you and me just regular people um, who, you know, are going about their daily lives, and, and but they also follow God. And... It says that they separated themselves. And what did they separate themselves to? And we look at it. It goes on. It, it's everyone who had uh, knowledge and understanding. Verse 29 says, They entered into a curse and an oath to walk in God's law and to observe and do all the commandments of the Lord and his ordinances and his statutes. Now, when you when you look at this, uh, uh, you know, that, that's a pretty lofty goal uh, because there are over 600 different ordinances in the Old Testament. I, I mean, it, lots of stuff, lots of opportunity for failure and, and you know, lots of, ups, uh, lots of opportunity for success too. But when we look at, look at, uh, um, God had, tells us that obedience is better than sacrifice and and god loves it when people will just follow him and sometimes we don't understand and sometimes we don't know the reason why we follow him why we do certain things you know god why did you have me give this up when it was when i thought it was something godly well god, god why do you keep me away from this or, or you know all sorts of stuff like that but the, the bible is set up the way it is and god set up time the way it is with a purpose and we we need to to trust god for that purpose you know even though we don't understand and i i firmly believe without a, a good understanding of the first three chapters of the bible the first three chapters of genesis it it just sets the stage for the rest of the bible and it helps us to understand a lot of the rest of it you see when we look at, at genesis 1 and we see god laying the foundation of the earth we see God putting everything together. That is when he spoke his ordinances. That is when, when holiness became a standard, when holiness became a law. And there is a reason that all of those principles are put into place. And, of course, the reason is, is also that we can get to him. Um, but that's why he gave us his, his son anyhow, because we couldn't fulfill him. We couldn't be holy. But God laid all of this stuff from the foundation of the earth. And, you know, there's a big thing in the church today uh, about tithing. People are arguing on whether it's it's tithing is an Old Testament ritual that we don't even need to do. And, yeah, I look at it as, as when you get to the foundations of the earth, God put these principles in place for a reason. God said, if you give back to me, I will, I can bless and give back to you. And, and, you know, even though the blessing may not be immediate, it may not be what you think it is, you know, maybe we give God money and instead he, he gives us, uh, love for our spouse when they really need it, or he gives us so many different things. But these, these things that God has laid, these ordinances and these laws are all for purpose and you know you're right we can't live up to all of them just as you know the the the, the uh, uh israelites here they can't live up to them they can't they're going to try great lofty goal but we need jesus you know we're, we're going to miss the mark in all of these we're going to miss it it, it just happened i mean i've already missed the mark today and, and i don't even know how or why but i know i did I know I did because of of where I am. I am in this body, in this earth. I know I've already missed the goal. But that's why the Lord gave us Jesus Christ, because he fulfilled all of that. And that's where all of our hope should be in. As you see, all of these people giving it to God, they're all, they're all saying, God, we're going to follow your laws. We're going to make ourselves righteous. Jesus Christ alone is the only one that can make you righteous. He's the only one that can make you whole. And he's the only one by whose power can fulfill all of these 
laws and ordinances and rituals. And so, folks, please, God loves obedience. But get to Jesus Christ because he's the fulfillment. Get to Jesus Christ. I love you all. Have a super day.